Hey everybody, Mobile Gamers Unite. Beautiful morning today. I expect we'll be having more like this. Anyway, um, I had an interesting pull session today. Um, let's go ahead and just take a look at what pulls have been coming down. So before this, okay, I had to reset my tablet. Um, I was moving around and had to switch to my phone for uh, to have internet and all that good stuff but it, it kinda cut off half of this list um, because before this before I pulled a Tierras at the very top right here I actually pulled two Estelles Estelle the chick with the bow okay and then I really started watching this thing because it wasn't looking good I didn't see Joshua drop anywhere okay and this list was much longer it reset so I stopped pulling all together and right here when Becky pulled Joshua and I actually saw yeah okay Joshua's dropping okay because I already pulled three SSRs and none of them were Joshua two of them were es Estel and the one was a Tierras which I'm not gonna complain about Tierras she's pretty cool <laughs> so um, but then I started using this thing, and when I saw that Joshua was dropping right here, uh, Becky got lucky and pulled Joshua. That's when I started dumping, because I knew at least I saw him dropping. So anybody that's going to go all in, I highly suggest you do this. I mean, whether you, uh, no matter how you do your pulls, definitely check this thing, okay? It definitely helped me today. Um, because I stopped doing pulls earlier and just started watching this until Joshua started coming down There's no doubt in my mind that if I would have kept doing pulls earlier I probably would have burned through a bunch of resources and either pulled Die Hard or another Estelle <laughs> You know, so that's what it's looking like, but let's go into our heroes real quick so I will be doing a review on this guy because um, I was really excited to pull him. I needed to get this guy because of what his fusion power does. It's like its own thing. Um, he really, really has his own mechanics in this game. And I do like that. The other thing, too, is I never got his read on this account. And this guy is somewhat of an assassin. Um, I don't know if you could tell just by looking at him or not. So... That's pretty cool. Gives me an assassin. Gives me something to do um, with all that fun stuff. But let's see if we can even get him to any sort of decent. Oh, goodness. Well, he's going to be level 30. <laughs> okay. We at least manage that. So I will be grinding out resources for him today. Um, I'm going to go the assassin way with him. I might get his fusion power because... On this account now, I would have all three of these uh, faction characters for this, uh, the whereabouts of the stars. I know where the stars are at, they're up in the sky, but okay, alright. Uh, fusion power active skill greatly improves the attack and defense of all heroes of time, allies, and range, to be expected. In addition, grants the following effects. Increases range and skill damage by 20% last four turns. That's crazy. Range and skill damage. That's Narnar. -nar. So I cannot wait to play with that. Also, he looks cool. You know, um, I, I don't, I don't want to say he looks as wicked as Zorita or anything, but he looks pretty cool. All right, and then we have his shadow class. And this guy has some interesting things he can do. Phantom Raid being um, pretty gnarly from what I've managed to hear. So I'm definitely going to be working on this guy. Um, here is my whole thing about this faction group. If you just started and you managed to get the last banner and you have um, the Yales Legends faction... This faction teams up with that one so well. It's crazy. It's just crazy how good these two factions mix. IMO, in my opinion. Okay? Because you can have Landius and Lanford. You can have Landius tank. And you can have Lanford um, do your cavalry damage and all that stuff. And then you can have Estel 
she can physical tank and you can split up your tanking between her and uh, Landius and you can have Landius tank magic and ranged and you can have uh, Estelle tank physical hits and she's an absolute nightmare to cavalry. I started playing with her yesterday, I ran some guild wars with her and just um, her attack that she does in a straight line, if you're hitting cavalry with that they just disappear. <laughs> they just, they're not on the map anymore. So um, that's really cool. And there's a lot you can do with this. And then you got this guy as an assassin. And of course, the other character from this faction is somewhat of a healer from what I understand. That's cool. I will definitely be trying to grind her out for my alt account because I don't have a healer there. So I'm not even going to try to pull these characters on my alt account it would be an effing dream team to have a brand new account with this faction and Yales Legends but I'm just gonna stick with my my Yales Legends save whatever resources I can for Listel not Estel and um, maybe Cellophane so it's kinda sucks for my alt because we were supposed to have a banner with Cellophane on it right now and whatever though this benefits my main account my main account is really my bread and butter obviously and this is where I want to collect things and have all the characters so I'm happy I have this faction um, I have one more character to go we're gonna grind her out today but I'm definitely gonna be putting some work into this guy because I like what his fusion does it has a different mechanic it increases range and skill damage <clears throat> um, that's really good the fact that this can be effective against a dragon or something because it's not fixed damage and it's not something that anyone can just shrug off and say oh that's cool but I'm immune to half your shit that's not gonna be an issue here you don't have to worry about that with this guy when it, when he drops his faction it's useful no matter what okay and then even if you don't get this guy and you have to run Estel as a standalone character because of her cheer ability and all that stuff, she's actually pretty gnarly, so you can definitely run her as a standalone. That's what I was doing in Guild War, and I had plenty of fun running her. I don't even have her cheer ability yet. <clears throat> in fact, that's one of the things that we're going to talk about real quick. Um, if you want to run Estelle, and, and I did watch her do some serious tanking. The girl does not mess around, even at a low level. She still had a decent defense. Um, I didn't put all the best gear on her. I put um, steel on her, so she had some damage reduction. But she, truth be told, had no problem tanking um, some stuff that was a higher level than her and surviving. Um, I did manage to play with her as long as I kept attacking with her. Uh, that ability of hers stayed up. Oh, okay, that's right. We pulled a dupe of her, so we get to uh, four-star her. So that's pretty cool. Bam. So I'm sure she'll be more potent now. And this whole, um, the very bottom part of her talent, where, um, <laughs> let's see, increase the damage of two allies within two blocks by 10% for two rounds. That's effing insane. Okay, that's on top of her giving you cheer or something like that. So she could be such a strong supporter. Um, I just, I can't let that be overlooked at all. She's definitely one of the better supporter characters that we have in this game. The amount of supporting she can do is just stupid, just off of her talent alone. So we'll have a look at her real quick just to kind of see what I got going with her. Here's the equipment I managed to kind of scrounge up for her I had a couple of the carbon fiber armors laying around and I think it does kind of work well for her um, the throne guardian I just had one and it's just been sitting there and I had an ANA's helmet and a king's amulet just sitting there I was gonna combine the king's amulet into something like Vargas's or something but I figured hey uh, she can hold on to it so she's at 3378 power level um, it's not bad, but really what I wanted to talk to, to you guys about her is this. In my opinion, this is the budget build for her, okay? If you want to invest the least amount of rune stones possible, and this is probably what I'm going to do with her. I will go down, I get general and wave crasher, which I'm already there. 
Okay, and by the way, this uh, this Phoenix Wave ability is crazy. It just it just is. Um, what is it? She restores 100% of her hit points. She can go kamikaze with this shit. Like she can go into a really bad part of the map, or you can teleport her there, and she can take some damage. She can be at very low health, and she can drop uh, Phoenix Wave. Hurts everybody around her really, really bad, and she's at full health. And guess what? She's a tank, so she's a nightmare to deal with as far as hit points go anyway. Um, but you can finish out this tree, and then you can spend one rune stone and pick up her vanguard just to get cheer. Okay? That's probably what I'm going to do, because I don't know if I want the Sakura Supreme. Because all this is giving me is heavy shield, which is, okay, good, I guess, if you want to stand in front of a dragon, and armor piercer. These are both abilities that other characters in this game already have. I mean, the market's kind of flooded with these abilities. Every effing tank has these abilities already. You know, so if I really wanted that, I could just bring Vargas or whatever. This one's kind of up to you, but for me, um, the budget build I'm doing, I will sacrifice one runestone on Vanguard just to get cheer. It's situational, I know, but just because she's just so gnarly with it. And even if you're taking cheer, you can still take uh, Phoenix Wave with you. That's for your skill points. And um, you're going to be proccing Steel Titan all the time. That's just like the second ability with Phoenix Wave and like a lot of these other abilities that she does. And then you can still have her starting AoE attack, which is, what is this thing called? Whirlwind Staff, I believe. Ah, I got it right. So yeah, you can still have Whirlwind Staff. Um, and obviously you can have Phoenix Wave, and if you want to, this Sheik Staff, you can swap this out for Cheer. I gotta say though, Sheik Staff is badass. Okay, this is the the one that's in a straight line and hits everybody in five blocks. It 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 gives her a threat range of eight blocks because she can move up three and then drop this, which is really really nice. Okay. Um, also, I wish I had some boots for her because then she could reach nine. But this thing hits everybody in a straight line. It's got a two turn cooldown. So, man, it's a really, really good ability. And, of course, it gives her Steel Titan for two turns, just like everything does. So you don't ever need to bring Steel Titan with her. She's always going to have that. And even if you decide to bring Cheer with you, you're still going to have an AoE with a two-turn cooldown that procs Steel Titan. And then you're going to have an AoE with a five-turn cooldown that procs Steel Titan and heals you up on top of you know the added effects of cheer to everybody and the fact that you know everybody around her um two allies within two blocks of her do 10 percent more damage for the next two rounds at a time that's crazy awesome the reason that's so good um is because it actually mimics one of the items that we already have and this is like a pretty gnarly item it's that crown. In fact, let's see if we can find it real quick. I, I know it's not Leon, but I know one of my characters has this crown thing on. It was Alta Mueller for a while, but Loki's mask is better for him because I'm not using Alta Mueller as a buffer. I'm using him as a shock trooper. So I did change up uh, the crown for Loki's mask. She's got the wraith. And I have thought about putting it on uh, Elmeta. That way when anybody's around her, she can give them more damage, but hold on, where is this thing? Odin's Battle Helmet. Now just while we're going through my characters and some of the random builds that I'm like in the middle of working on. The Chief's Helmet, I have to say, works awesome for Landius because you're going to have people around him anyway. He might as well be given some sort of buff. And the Aenys armor, I have a couple of those. I need to level that up. Oh, goodness, where is this thing? Did I take it off of everybody? You know, I might be better off just going into my items and trying to find it. I had two people uh, wearing this thing. It's a crown, and it gives a buff to, to, to people around you. They're going to just do more damage. 
And you know what, since I can't find this thing and I'm like legitimately worried now, like where did this thing go? I had two of them. Anyway, the point being is her ability to give people extra damage is just so crazy. I mean, you, typically you have to have an SSR helmet to do that, to, to give an ability like that. And that 10 damage, 10% damage can go so far. And she's giving it to multiple people. Alright, she is at a, the girl's at a four star. Here it is. Here it is. Okay, Chris had one and somehow I overlooked that. The King's Crown. I knew it was a crown. After taking action, uh, grants one adjacent friendly unit 12% extra damage for one turn. Okay? Now granted, this thing is only, um, like what, level 20? Okay? But still, she has that built into her kit and she's giving it to multiple people and it lasts for two turns. So she definitely outdoes the King's Crown in my opinion. Okay? so something to look at right there if you ha are forced to run a guild war of a team of just mix and matched heroes that really have no faction in common or anything you can always run Estelle with them they will all get a mini fusion because they'll get that 10.66% from cheer and then on top of that every turn she's gonna choose a couple characters and they're gonna just do 10% more damage for, for two turns so you can cycle that ability between your other heroes. You can make sure whatever hero she she puts that on, move them away, move your other heroes up, and then they're gonna get 10% more damage for the next two turns. The fact that it's a two turn um, buff is just so effing nice. So she does that, she has a lot going for her. I will be doing in-depth reviews on both of these characters, but I just wanna let you, let you guys know your boy did pick both of these limited characters up, so content will be coming, and I definitely uh, want to see what Joshua can do. And I am really excited about his um, his fusion, okay? And I'm excited to see what other characters we get in this fusion group in the future, so it should be cool. Anyway, I'm going to go drink my coffee now, and you guys have a good morning. Good luck out there pulling. If you haven't gotten these characters yet, they will come to you today. So says Vlad. Mobile Gamers Unite, you have a good day. Peace.